Hello, I'm Calvin Jones with the Park Tool Company. In this video, we're going to use the IR1 internal cable routing kit to help route cables on this internally routed frame. Let's get started. This kit speeds the internal frame routing on carbon fiber, titanium, and aluminum bikes. The IR1 will help route hydraulic brake line, shift housing, brake housing and liner, shift and brake cables, and electronic wires. The rubber adapter is used for electronic wires such as Shimano E-tubes and the Capignolo EPS wire. The cable with the barbed adapter is used for open-ended shift and brake housing as well as hydraulic brake line. Thread the barbed adapter into the housing end to secure. The cable with the straight tip is used to guide in housing or liners. The straight tip guide cable has a negative polarity magnet marked with a white stripe used to help pull other guide cables through. The strong guide magnet is used to route shift and brake cables as well as guide cables and their magnets, helping to pull them around obstacles inside the frame. In this carbon fiber frame, we need to route the cable into the top tube opening, around the head tube, out the lower opening near the bottom bracket. Due to sharp angles needed to route this cable, it will be easier to use the strong guide magnet rather than relying on the two cables to meet inside the frame. Insert the positive magnet of the rubber adapter cable into the upper opening and bind it with the guide magnet. You will feel the magnetic pull. Guide the cable magnet downward to the lower opening near the bottom bracket. If you lose the cable magnet, you can find it again by simply moving the guide magnet up the tube systematically. Pull the guide cable magnet out of the lower opening. Insert the electronic plug wire into the rubber adapter at the upper opening. Feed the electronic wire through the frame as you pull out the guide cable. This aluminum frame requires internal shift housing. Insert the negative magnet of the straight tip cable into the lower housing opening. Then insert the positive magnet of the barbed adapter cable into the upper opening. The two magnets will connect. Now pull the straight tip cable downward. Attach the housing to the barbed adapter. Feed the housing through the upper opening, through the frame, guiding it down and out with the guide cable. The rear disc brake on this bike has internally routed hydraulic line. The hydraulic line has a caliper fitting on one end. This brake line is routed forward from the back of the bike toward the head tube. Start by inserting the positive magnet of the barbed adapter cable into the rearmost opening. Use the straight tip cable's negative magnet to pull it forward and out the next exit. Repeat the process to move the barbed adapter cable up the down tube and out the front opening. Attach the hydraulic line to the barbed adapter. Using the barbed adapter cable, feed the brake line into the frame and out the front opening.
This bike has housing stops that do not permit the guide cable magnets to enter. You can help route the bike shift wire directly into the stop and then use the strong guide magnet to help get it down and out the lower opening near the bottom bracket. The IR1, when used in all of its configurations, is very versatile in solving all your internal frame routing problems. 